want to show you right now the three calculators that I've built to help an agent reach their goal and create a path, create a blueprint that shows them exactly what they need to do to hit their goal. And the first goal that agents sometimes come up with is how much money they want to make. They're like, I want to make a hundred thousand dollars. Okay, great. So that can happen. It's crazy how many agents come into the industry and they're given the advice that, well, I hear I'm not going to make any money in my first year. What are you talking about? You can absolutely make money in your first year. You can make six figures in your first year. Lots of local professionals start at zero with very little money and make over six figures in their first year. And it's just math. It's just a plan. It's just a blueprint. And this is going to show you how to do it. So let's say you're that person. My next question for you and this calculator would show you is, well, what is your average sales price? What part of the world are you in? You know, is it $250,000, $350,000, $500,000, a million dollars? What is that average sales price? Let's go with the average sales price for most people in North America, and that is $250,000. The next question is, okay, well, if you want to, if your average sales price is $250,000 and your gross commission goal is $100,000, then what's your commission on that deal when you help a person buy or sell a $250,000 home? Is it 2%, 2.5%, 3%? Okay, and for this, put what you make net after your brokerage takes their fees because that money's not really even yours anyways. So most people make net about 1.5 to 2%. Let's say 2%. And I want to net $100,000. That means I make about $5,000 per transaction, net. So if I want to make $100,000 net, then I need to do 20 deals. Pretty simple. Let's keep going. The next question is, okay, in order to close 20 deals, how many clients and, and, and opportunities to get clients to close do you need? So if 10 people come to you and they say, hi, I'm looking to buy, I'm looking to sell, how often do you win that person over as a customer and then get to do the deal versus lose them to the competition? Is it 5 out of 10, 6 out of 10, 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10? What's that number for you? 85% of homeowners interview one agent. That could be your close ratio. Or the average number of realtors that homeowners interview is 1.7, which would yield about a 60% close ratio. Maybe that's it. For easy math and for conserv being, being conservative, I'm going to put 50%. That would mean if this was me and, or you, if we had 40 listing presentations or 40 buyer consultation meetings and my close ratio is 50%, I would get my 20 clients to make my $5,000 per deal and I would make my $100,000. Still pretty simple and basic. Here's where I find a lot of realtors don't do this math because they don't know this next number. And this is the most important number in real estate the turnover rate. So if I need 40 people, if I want to do all sellers and listings only, and I want to do, and I need 40 opportunities to close 20, how do I find and get 40 opportunities? Well, it really depends on the turnover rate. If people move every 10 years for every 10 Homeowners I talk to, one will be moving on average. So if I want to find 40, I need to talk to 400. Are you getting it? If, I, if the turnover rate is 10 years, if people move every 10 years, if I talk to 400 people and ask them if and when they're moving, I will find 40 and then I will close 20 and then I'll make my 100 grand. 
Now the average in the United States is 17 years. So if that's the case, if it, my turnover rate in my area was 17 years, I would need to talk to 680 people and ask them if and when they're moving to just directly find 40 to close 20 to make my 100 grand. Not including referrals, not including advertising because maybe I don't have money for advertising and maybe I don't have any past clients to get referrals. So if I'm just going to beeline my way to 100 grand because that was me, that's what I wanted to do, and this is the formula that I used. If I wanted to beeline my way to 100 grand, this is how I would do it. And if I wanted to control my destiny to whatever number I wanted to make, this is how I would do it. And then the other thing, because I believe in quality of life, I mean, I'm an entrepreneur ready to work my ass off because I want time freedom, I want some time off. I want about eight weeks off for vacation and going to conferences and I might be sick every now and then. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna take eight weeks off for all sorts of stuff, which means if I talk to 16 people per week, I will eventually talk to 680 people over the course of 52, no, 64, 44 weeks, right? Eight weeks off of vacation, 52 minus eight, 44. Okay, so if I work for 44 weeks, talk to 16 people per week, which is three a day for five days pretty much, or three a day for six days, and I get to do a little bit extra, all right, then I'll get my 680, and I'll get my 40, I'll close my 20. That's it. It can be that easy. And if I want to make 200 grand, the numbers just go up. Say my close ratio improves to 75%, the numbers go down. Say the turnover rate speeds up and it's now only 14 years, the numbers go down. But say the market gets bad and it goes up to 20 years, the numbers go up. Say I'm willing to work harder and take less vacation, the numbers go down. And all you have to do is just play with these numbers to figure out what you want to do. Say all of a sudden you start working with million dollar homes. The numbers really go down. And that's the key to having a strategy where you can start working with people in higher price points because it just takes less work to reach the same goal. And if you want to double check to see if you can do it, let's go back to my average home price of $250,000. Let's use a conservative net of 1.75%. Let's say my close ratio is 60%. Let's say the turnover rate is the average of 17 years. I'm gonna take six weeks off for vacation and events and stuff. It's like, whoa, 29 conversations in a week? Now, some people hear that number and they're like, yeah, no problem. Other people look at that number like, dude, I'm not even getting 29 conversations a month to ask people if and when they need a realtor. But that's okay, as long as you have a mechanism to doing it, you can just change your future in an instant. And so you go down here and go, wow, 29 conversations. I don't even know if that's possible. Let's take a look at this. Well, let's, let's say that it takes about an hour to have a good coffee day conversation with a person, to get to know them, have them get to know me, to build that relationship so that they want to tell me if and when they're moving and tell me the truth. It takes me about you know half an hour to drive to and from that meeting. Wow, I'm gonna have to drive Okay, um, I, I'm gonna have to spend about 40 hours a week just on prospecting to get the clients. But I'm making $200,000 a year in this scenario and I'm working with 46 clients, spending about 20 hours per client from start to finish. So that's about 20 hours a week to serve those clients. So I'm working 10 hours a day six days a week, 11 hours a day, 12 hours a day, five days a week to make $200,000. When you have a calculator like this, you just need to ask yourself if you're willing to do it. That's all. And then whatever investment that you need to make in order to play this formula, right? People give me money to buy my technology because I am a mechanism for them to work this formula. 
really quickly and easily. And they go, hey, if I'm giving Park Bench $5,000, but I'm able to now execute this system, and that's all I need to buy to execute the system, and I make $195,000 net after paying five, Park Bench $5,000 because I make 200 net in all these deals, can I justify that? Let's say my goal is $100,000. Then I only have to work 32 hours a week to make $100,000 and net 95. Maybe that's what you want to do. And can you justify it? Do you like these numbers? The beauty of this calculator is that you input your numbers. You input your goals. You input your close ratio. You input your market numbers. And you take a look at what's required to get there. And you just ask yourself whether you're willing to do it or not. This formula is systematic, it's predictable, it's proven. That's why even my system, I guarantee it will work or else I give you all the money back because I've always seen it work. Because everybody moves. It's just a matter of when and with who. And the turnover rate is a statistic. It's fact. And those are all the numbers. And your close ratio is also a fact. And those are the numbers that you need to figure out how to make money. And say you don't think about income. Say you think, well, I just want to do... 48 deals a year, and my close ratio is 75%, and my turnover rate is 15 years. Then this is the workload I need to put in to make, and if my average home price is $300,000, and I net 2%, I'm making $288,000 a year working 60 hours a week. I can do that. Say I only want to do 24 deals a year. I make $144,000 a year, and I work 30 hours a week. What kind of life do you want? Make a plan, work a plan. And if you're thinking about working with us and you're like, well, I think I can only do like two of these meetings a week, two of these prospect interviews a week. I wonder if that even is worthwhile. Well, here's another calculator. Let's see if it will work. Let's say you did two meetings a week, two prospect interviews a week. You did two of you know the meetings that I do for myself a week. Your turnover rate is 17 years. The average, your close ratio is 60%. You will make an extra three, four deals a year. How much money do you make per deal? Can you justify the expense of Park Bench to make that money? Just ask yourself that question. We're not here to pull people's arms and force them to buy something they don't wanna buy. We only need to work with one person per area and we want a person who is like, I love this system. This system's gonna give me a great ROI. It's gonna be a ton of fun. I like the area that I'm about to do this in and be the sponsor ambassador for. And then just go and work with us and be excited. Because when you're excited, and when you have that belief that this is gonna be an amazing investment, an amazing use of your time and money, and it's gonna yield you great results, what do you think happens? It works. You get great results. You get a great ROI. You do have fun. Okay? Let's say you only could do one a week. First, I would question if you're relationship and referral-based, if you can only add an extra one relationship-based meeting to build relationship and referral-based business a week, only one. But okay, let's say you're a top producer and you just want to add this to your, your strategy. Well, you'll get an extra one, two deals a year. Plus, you'll probably get some referrals on top of that. And if you make 2% net, you spend $5,000 on the park bench, you make $10,000, $12,000 from one a week. You still get a great 200% return on investment. Not bad. Maybe your area is only $4,000, 250% improvement, $6,000 return on investment. And then in year two, what my coaches and I will say is, why can't you do two or three or five a week? Where else are you spending your time and money? Are they yielding you this kind of return? The average return for most marketing is 1.8. And in some things, it's negative. And I bet you, you have some things that you're buying where the return is negative. And that's because a lot of things that you spend money on to grow your business, a lot of things that agents spend money on and time on to grow their business, there's no systematic and predictable way to turn it into money. That's why relationship and referral based marketing is the safest way to build a business because it's based on real data that's fixed. Therefore, you can create a plan that will help you get a great return on your investment.
And then all you gotta go do is go work a plan. So check out these calculators and see if Park Bench is the right fit for your business.